Hi guys, welcome to a vlog of sorts. This is my last week here before I head on my vacation. So I thought I would bring you guys along for a little vlog. I have had zero motivation to film YouTube videos, <laughs> which you may have noticed because nothing has been uploaded probably in a few weeks at this point. But I'm trying to like get some motivation. Apparently like doing things is the way to get motivation. Sometimes you can't wait for it to come. So <laughs> we'll see if that works. If not, it's whatever. We'll talk more about I think what YouTube later on, but I am on Target right now. Today is Monday, so I have the next three days off and then I work Thursday and Friday, so we should have a good amount of time to get some things done. Today's gonna be an errand day. I have a bunch of stuff to do and I will take you guys along, starting with a Target run. So I popped back home to drop off my Target groceries. I barely got anything, but it was like $44. Every time I go to Target, it's always like expensive, but it's whatever. I am about to go to the mall next. That's my next stop. I have a bunch of stuff I need to do. Actually, no, I'm going to drop off some Amazon returns at UPS. Then I'm going to go to the mall and I'll tell you guys what I'm going to be doing there in a second. But let's talk about something fun or interesting to me anyway so at target i got this chill champ vitamin or supplement i've been really into supplements lately i bought a ton of them these are all like new additions <laughs> from this month so i bought some omega threes these are the ones that i normally take but they're more expensive so i decided to just like stick to the pills and honestly i'm getting tired of like gummies or like things that taste like something i'd rather just like pop some pills because they don't taste like anything Thing and I can take them like whenever. I've got some eggshell membrane because my joints have been jacked and I need like something to take care of that. I have my usual calcium. Mostly I take it from the vitamin D because you know that's always lacking. Then I got some turmeric because off uh, I don't know I feel like my tendons as well as my joints are like inflamed so turmeric is supposed to be good for inflammation. And then these are just like my regular like not prescription but they're over the counter meds like for allergies and stuff and then this is what i've been taking recently this is the goodbye stress by ollie they're you know as they suggest for effectively stress relief and anxiety i mean like i always have like anxiety it's definitely situational but the fact that it happens like almost on a daily basis there's something for me to like be stressed about so i was thinking about taking these to like you know give my body a break from its constant state of stress <laughs> So these I just started. I was trying some ashwagandha before, but those made my stomach upset. So actually, one of the things I have to do is return them. And then these are actual pills. These are gummies, and I, like I was complaining about, I don't like gummies. So I'm thinking about taking these. We'll see if these are as effective as the Oli, which the verdict is still out, but they're similar. They have the same ingredients. This one has ashwagandha though, but it has a lower dose than what was in the gummies that made my stomach upset. And it's a pill form, so you know, we'll see. It's my new vitamin kick that I'm on. We'll see if it helps at all. I'm willing to try anything at this point because the alternative would be to like get on prescription meds or get some sort of medical intervention. And every time I go to the doctor about <laughs> anything, they tell me there's like nothing wrong with me. So, you know, <laughs> I guess I just have to take things into my own hands. So that's fun. But let's go back to the rest of our errands. All right, so I finished up at UPS, which is nice. I ordered like a bunch of thermostats. So by the way, I had to replace my furnace and air conditioning. I was just planning on doing the air conditioning. I think I told you guys because, you know, it doesn't work. But then the furnace was also old, so I replaced both of them. But I ended up buying a Google Nest and then just like a regular non Wi-Fi thermostat because I wasn't sure which one was going to work. And the Google Nest ended up working out so i returned the other thermostats so yeah that's nice it's been nice so far it's been a day since i installed it it was a little bit of a learning curve but i actually did it myself so i'm proud of that next up is going to be the mall i have a bunch of stuff that i got from h&m i'll show you guys so i ordered a bunch of stuff from h&m which is all going back it's a bunch of workout gear 
there i think i ended up keeping like i don't know three things out of the order and i ordered like 300 dollars worth of stuff some of them were like duplicates like a small and a medium in case i didn't know which one was gonna fit but like most of them were like not good quality and i'm trying not to buy things or not to keep things that i don't absolutely love kind of i think you guys probably already seen so far my decluttering video but in the same token like i'm very weary of buying things now because i'm just like i don't want to have to get rid of this down the future like it's a total hassle i didn't film this but i did end up bagging a bunch of stuff that i need to drop off a goodwill we'll see if i can do that this week or not but anyway the whole process was just like annoying i mean i've talked about this before it like it's just like a lot of work to like sell things uh, to donate them to like go through all the stuff and then of course it's hard because you feel like you wasted your money on these things and then you have like nothing to show for it so you know there's that <laughs> there's like a lot of emotional things in regard to the whole decluttering process but there are some lessons to be learned as well so yeah but um let's get going okay. so i just pulled up to walmart and then i realized there's a like crumble cookies over here like i did not think there was one in my area there is one by my work but for the longest time i didn't know there was one over here so i don't know if i should get a cookie i think i will i've definitely been uh, trying to avoid eating dessert slash sweets like i haven't had dessert on <laughs> Historically, I used to eat dessert like every day, but I've been deciding to cut back because I don't know, like I have this extra weight that I don't necessarily want and I feel like eating sweets is like not helping me to lose that weight. I mean, I work hard on all that, but like having all these sweets is like not the best. So I will think about the crumble cookies the good thing about them is that you don't have to eat the on the entire thing like they last at least a couple of days i think i will pop in there after i go to walmart though because i don't want to carry it into walmart but yes how exciting basically i'm at walmart to return these <laughs> gummies that i was complaining about earlier the Ash ashwagandha ones like i said they like literally upset my stomach to no end <laughs> so they're going back I'm like not playing with these returns like anything I don't like like is getting returned like I'm just not about to waste my money and then have to like find some way to get rid of it later on because I like kept it around so <laughs> yeah okay so successfully returned those gummies to <laughs> Walmart and then I popped in a crumble got a cookie and normally or the one that I used to go to like they would take your order but here they just have the kiosk so it's like standing there for like a minute and I was like uh no one was coming over and i was like am i supposed to use the kiosk and then i wanted to ask them like what they recommended but like nobody was there so i was just like i guess i have to choose but uh i got the texas sheet cake so let's see if you guys can see but basically it looks like chocolate with some sort of covering and pecan so we'll see about this it looks messy mm. It just tastes like cake. It's not my favorite one. Like, they've had other chocolate ones that were good. And this one's just, like, okay. But, you know, <laughs> never know, honestly. That was, like, $4.40, apparently. I haven't been to Crumble in a while. But I think that's how much it used to cost. I just, like, never cared. And now I'm, like, I don't know if I'm more cost conscious now that I'm working part-time. I don't You guys will see. Like, I spent a ton of money this month. And uh, we'll talk about my theories as to why that is. But, yeah, this is my first month of being part-time. And, yeah, it's been interesting interesting financial wise but let us go to the mall <laughs> Hi guys, just got done with the mall. It actually, there wasn't anyone in there. I mean, it's like a weekday at like midday, so that was nice. You know how I just like crowds. I returned myself to H&M, that went fine, and then went over to Lululemon, because I told you guys I hated the majority of things I got at H&M, just like the quality wasn't there and the fit wasn't good. So I decided to like look at Lululemon, which I have been avoiding Lululemon for the longest. <laughs> like, I have never bought anything from... Actually, that's not true. Like, uh, last year I bought the... That... 
crossbody bag. Is it called the everywhere, the everything bag? Whatever, I bought that mostly for work purposes, but that's the only thing I've ever gotten from them. I haven't got any of their actual clothes. So I started looking into their leggings and the leggings have mixed reviews. Some people are like, this is the greatest thing ever. And then some people are like, the quality is bad and it pills all the time. So I don't know what to think. Also, I wasn't sure about the sizing. It has like traditional sizing, like six, eight, 10, that kind of sizing. So I wasn't sure what, I mean, I know my size, but I wasn't sure like how it would translate to leggings. So I went to the store to like see the really different styles of leggings and the different sizes and actually learned something useful because one line of leggings run smaller than the other one. And I almost bought it uh, yesterday actually. And if I had bought it, it would have been too small. So I learned some valuable information. I didn't try anything on because I couldn't be bothered. Like I can tell by holding it up, you know, if it's going to fit or not. So did that. I actually ordered a couple of things last night they had a couple of their aligned leggings on sale so i got a couple of those so they should be coming in this week and there was nothing much in the clearance here at the store so i didn't get anything and um depending on how these aligned leggings work out i may buy more if they suck then you know that's the end of my <laughs> lululemon adventures but bath and body works i went to bath and body works and i picked up a few things i ordered them yesterday online but I, since i was coming to the mall i figured i would pick them up so so, you know, I got my candles. It's winter, or it's, oh my god, winter's over actually. So it's gonna be summer, so of course I had to get some summer candles. So, let's just get into these like really quickly. Um, I got Tiki, what is this? Oh no, this is Waikiki Beach. I uh, love all the beachy ones, so this is it. And I got two of those, and what else here? Fiji White Sands. I've gotten this multiple times. This is my second jar that I possess. I have one at home already. Then I bought another Tiki Beach, just stocking up. Honestly, I'm stocking up for when winter comes because sometimes I like to burn these in the winter because it's like an antidepressant. <laughs> it reminds me of summer, so that's always nice. And then the last thing I got was Cocoa Paradise. This is new. Mm, I don't actually like this. I think I might return it. I think I'm gonna exchange it because there's a candle there called i don't know i wrote it down because it smells so good and i wanted to get it santorini coast that smells really good so i think i'm gonna exchange it for that i'm not gonna go back into the mall right now because that's too much of a headache but there's actually a bath and body works like near my pilates class so i'll do that tomorrow oh, that was a fun experience now i need to go to the bank and convert some coins that i have to actual paper money because i never use coins and i don't actually use paper money either there, but you know there's that and then i need to get some documents like notarized and then i have to go to the post office and i think that's it for my like outdoor stuff i'm like ready to be back home and like relaxing because <laughs> this is like a lot of work so i'll see you guys in a few so just finished up at the bank why did i almost get an accident like getting in here or coming to the place this lady turned right into my lane when I was driving 50 miles per hour. And I had to slam on the brakes and honk my horn and then she finally like stopped midway after, you know, being in the lane. So I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> like, just what I need. Like, I just got this car and then somebody like freaking... That and the fact that, you know, the injury would, have, would not have been great. Like, literally. Like, I barely made it. So, but that's all good and done with then went to the bank to get my stuff notarized <laughs> i got six dollars and 18 cents worth of coins so that's exciting i mean i've had those coins sitting in my house for years at this point and i finally brought them to the coin machine in the bank to get them converted because i'm like i'm never going to use these coins so that happened and then i had to wait an hour for the notary so that was not fun but it's okay Next thing to do, just gonna head up the post office, get some gas. I have like 19 miles left on my car, allegedly. So <laughs> I need to get gas. I don't think that's it. And then I can finally go home and rest my tired soul <laughs> from entirely too much activity, from like having to do all these things. Like it's entirely too much.
good morning so i'm about to head to pilates i wanted to pop in real quick because i wanted to talk about these h&m tops so this top is one of the newer h&m items i think i said i returned the majority of them but i love this top so i have this one and a pinkish purple one and they have a green and a black but they're sold out and um, i had them on my wish list because <laughs> i definitely want more they're super nice and these are leggings from new balance they're super old uh the i'm going to pilates i don't know if i mentioned that that's the fit so i got all my stuff i made some coffee i got some water in here i gotta drop off a item that i sold and i gotta return my bath and body works candles uh, and that's it i'm wearing my lovely chanel wallet on chain i've just been like wearing it for like errands and stuff because if i don't then i like never wear it and i'm like why did i buy this thing <laughs> like i need to wear it so yeah let's head out hey guys just got done with Pilates. This one was a good workout, so it was fun. No, I think I'm gonna hit up. What time is it? Oh, yeah, we have enough time. Or Bed Bath and Beyond. Or Ben. What is Bath and Body Work? Should be open right now. It's like 10 23. Then we'll do an Aldi run. I think that's good for like outdoor excursions because I am exhausted. Actually, I don't know. I went to bed at like 7 p.m. last night. Like I never go to bed at 7. I was like so exhausted. I don't know if it's because of those stress gummies or whatever. <laughs> but I mean, I've taken them for the past couple days. But yesterday I was just like really exhausted for some reason. And I don't know why. So, you know, we'll see if this continues. Today I took the, the Welly pill that's supposed to be for stress versus the gummy because i wanted to see if it was any good if i needed to go back and buy more because they were on clearance before i leave so we'll see how that goes today so far i feel fine like in terms of my anxiety it's more subdued so that's good sometimes i get anxiety when i'm driving for no particular reason like i've never had a traumatic like I mean, barring that almost accident yesterday, I have not had a traumatic, like, uh, crash or incident or anything like that. So it's just, like, a, once again, an irrational fear of things. So, yeah, like, um, I've been feeling better when I've been driving, so that's a good thing. But, yeah, let's head over to Aldi's. Okay, so I'm back at home, thankfully. I did pop into like Aldi, did my Bath and Body Works stuff, and popped into TJ Maxx. I didn't get to film anything because I was on the phone. And apparently if you're like on your phone, you can't record videos at the same time. Which is the first time I've happened to be on the phone when I wanted to record a video. And I left this camera in the car, so I didn't get any clips of that. So sad times, actually it's like fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna do some home things. I'm gonna look through my packing list one more time to make sure I have the majority of the things that I need for my trip. I am carrying, I'll show you guys, you probably have seen this already in the background, but this is what I'm carrying, minus the yoga mats. <laughs> that just happens to be the same location, but I'm carrying my backpack and my Everlane tote. This backpack is from Amazon Basics. It's like actually a very good backpack and a very inexpensive. I've had it for like years now. I had it like since I was in grad school. So I'm carrying that as, I mean, they're both going to be carry on, but yeah, I'm not bringing a suitcase because I intend to buy a suitcase. So I don't want to bring my old suitcase. And then my old suitcase is like a hassle nowadays to bring around because I can't, anytime I put the bag on top of it, it becomes like unstable and like is prone to like falling over and it's harder to maneuver. It's just not meant <laughs> for like having a bag on top. So yeah, I'm just carrying that. So I'm going to try to make it as light as possible because I do have to carry it around or I you know hold it in my hand or I can put it on my shoulder but still it's gonna be a lot to have a backpack and that so anyway I'm trying to pack light and I think I did a pretty good job so far we'll see what else I have to put on the list and yeah it's just gonna be a chilling at home rest of the day thing doing some laundry now and then I'm gonna prep my plants for vacation so they don't die it's only gonna be a week though so it's gonna be a week and a half I don't think they would do particularly well if I left them for a week and a half without watering, but they would do better than when I leave them for like in two weeks plus. So we'll do that, and then I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do. You'll see, whatever it is.
So this is the candle that I exchanged for the other kind of that I didn't like. This one is Santorini Coast. It smelled really good in the store. And I was like starting on like getting my plants together when I figured I need a mood scent <laughs> for all this work. So we're gonna burn this and see how it is. Hopefully it smells as good as it does in the on the cold sniff. It's uh, coconut, almond, and vanilla notes. And you know I love all of those notes so hopefully this is good but yeah i'm gonna get back to <laughs> doing some housework good morning guys so it is 10 a.m in the morning i woke up at 7 but i ended up watching an episode of the mandalorian which is my one of my favorite tv shows by the way and i ended up taking like, my morning medication the one of which being the stress relief medication which like it made me very relaxed <laughs> like too relaxed so I haven't had this problem because normally I take it and then I go and do something but like being like in bed and watching uh, TV that was a mistake. So I fell asleep or decided to go back to sleep and I just woke up now so I guess I don't know I think by the time I finish everything about vitamin A so I'll probably slept for two hours which isn't the worst thing. Right now I am going to I have to wash my hair today so I'm gonna do a hot oil treatment. I only wash my hair once a month because it is entirely too prone to breakage. To wash it more than that I have found but I do take it down once a month and re-moisturize it but today is a wash day so hot oil treatment it is. I'm gonna let's show you a little bit of it but I'll put a plastic back on my head and then I will <laughs> work out and that helps with the heating component and then I'll just I do everything in the shower I wash my hair in the shower and I like put it into these flat twists in the shower and then like I said before once a week I like undo them and re-moisturize them which has been helping tremendously like my hair has definitely stopped breaking off to the same extent like anytime I used to wash my hair prior to this like there would be so much hair in the shower it's like insane and now there's like barely any so I'm excited to find something that actually works the hope is that my my hair will be able to retain length and will be a lot longer and thicker that's the hope we'll see um i guess i'll perhaps gauge everything at the end of the year because it will be like a full year that i have been doing this regimen so yeah let's do that in terms of what else is gonna happen today i'm not sure <laughs> i'm just taking it like hour by hour so yeah let's do a little bit of hair stuff so this is what i use this is Adwell. let's see if this thing shows up on here it won't focus or maybe it is focus i can't tell but this is it it is the biomint protect and shine blend it has Baobab, winter green spearmint, peppermint oil. This for dry textured hair, and you can use any oil for like hot oil treatments, honestly. But this one smells really good. It makes me feel like I'm at a spa, so I'm all about it. You know, I love like the whole spa situation. So this is just the precursory amount. I use this to take down the twist. Okay, so that is my hair down. <laughs> There's lots of work to be done on it, but you know, all that takes time. So I'm gonna finish putting in the rest of the hot oil stuff and I listen to some Afro beats, which I was gonna say I have to block it out, but like I can block it out either way, but I just want some, <laughs> some time alone to myself without the camera recording me. So I will see you guys in whatever I get up to next. All right guys, I'm all finished putting the oil in my hair. So I put it on my scalp and then I cut it from the ends and I put it in these Bantu knobs that are cute. I always section off the middle of my hair and do that separately because that's the most prone to breakage. So I try to like be gentle and give it a little extra care so that's that this is about in five sections three in the front two in the back 
And then of course we have our handy dandy Target bag. These are very used versus third in a you We use these bags. This is probably noisy as hell. Um, it's almost noisy in my ears, but <laughs> I reuse them like as garbage bags and then as like heat conditioning bags. So yeah, you know, recycling. Saving the planet one bag at a time or something like that. Okay, so that is that. Let's go work out. Hello. So finished showering, did my hair. I just, I usually like flat just my hair into like three sections. So this is one, two, and then one on the back. And then I'll do one more re-moisture before I leave for my vacation. And then we should be good for another week. So I've definitely been chilling. After that, I was watching the reviews and reactions for the Mandalorian episode that just aired today. That's what I do. I like watch the episode and then I watch all the reactions from all the YouTube creators. Creators, which is like super fun but they're like super star wars like nerds so they know all the like as they call them easter eggs or like hidden things because i am not really a star wars person i love the mandalorian and i loved andor those are the two things from star wars that i have loved the most so far those are all new of course so i don't know it's always fun like watching their reaction and a few of them are like my favorite so that's what i've been doing and now i I'm going to be productive. I'm gonna try to finish off the majority of my packing. I think I only have a few more things to go. I just looked through the list. So I will finish packing my bags. And I was hoping to like try on these Lululemon leggings for you guys, but the package hasn't gotten here yet. It's like 2.30, I think I mentioned, which I forgot it would be here about. We'll see. It's a very dark and overcast. So hopefully it arrives in time so we can see what the deal is if they're worth the hefty price tag or not but yeah let's get into some packing okay so here's what i'm bringing for vacation i got my two pair of shoes i just checked the weather forecast for salzburg and italy i'm going to a couple places in italy but salzburg is going to be cold i saw there was snow on the forecast i mean it is a mountain town so uh, thus the loafers they're like stylish and warm i haven't worn them before though so i'm gonna wear them the next couple days just to like get the whole process started and then i have my flats so much on the ones i brought last time i think this is the suede green pair and i love those things i wish h&m came out with more but they haven't brought them back since i got them several years ago normally they like bring things back out all the time so i'm on the lookout i haven't been able to find anything similar in other shoe brands then i have my carry-on bag slash backpack packed got some tampons because that's coming and then all my vitamins meds are in here liquids in this bag my book a court of mist and fury just got this specifically that's my next book to read then i have my travel pillow that's a memory foam one that's quite nice and then i have my travel blanket i'm thinking of using this as a scarf as well because i don't feel like bringing an actual scarf this time around because i'm only going to use it for like the three days i'm in salzburg so i don't know but i want to bring another one sleeping mask of course necessity oh and then i got this thing it's so cute it's a passport holder i got it from amazon and allegedly it's leather but i doubt it <laughs> but it was like affordable and it's like uh tiffany blue it's so cute you can put your passport in there your covid card and like and for me i have my known traveler card or what do you call it like tsa pre-check global entry card then my wallet i decided to bring a wallet this time because i am bringing my multi pochette but i found like just putting like my cards in the little pocket there like if i would leave the pochette open as i tend to do if i laid it down somewhere like everything would fall out or the cards would fall out in particular so i'm just bringing this it's super low profile so it should be fine what do i got up here i got the quick 
Quicksilver card. I just have like cards that I don't use on the daily in here, but are for travel. My other cards are still with me because I still have a few more days to go, but I will be loading this up with travel cards in a few. I do have a video about what I bring for travel if you're interested. So that's it for this bag. There's nothing in here. And my laptop would be going in there. It has a laptop pouch. So that's it. And then other bag, which is going to serve as my suitcase. Basically just has clothes in there. So these are all my clothes. Let me see what I got in here. I got a couple of dresses, long sleeve dresses, of course. It's, it's going to be 70 in Italy, um, but everywhere else is going to be chilly. And a couple long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, sleepwear, underwear, and then toiletry bag is here. And then there's my multi-piece shirt. I'm not wearing it at the airport because it's like way too many bags to be wearing. Like I would be wearing like three bags. So <laughs> I'm good with that. And then I got a pair of sunglasses. Love these things. They're um, polarized sunglasses from H&M. Such a good deal. Then I have one extra travel card over there. I normally try to keep two sets of cards in case I lose one, which has happened to me before. Then these are like my electronic stuff. I'm going to leave this open because I still have more stuff to put in there. Because I'm using a lot of the things. And then last few things that I had to pack that were on my list that I hadn't gotten yet were a workout set. I'm trying to work out on vacation. I did work out a little bit on my last vacation, but then when I came home, like I was like so out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened guys I was just like could barely get back into it I tried to get back into Pilates and I was like just like falling apart actually I'm like sweating now but that's because it's all of a sudden got really hot in here I guess I don't really need this sweater that I'm wearing but yeah just thinking about it was like not good so I'm gonna try to work out I've been working out four days a week I don't know if I'm gonna be able to work out four times on this vacation but you know we'll try we'll see i'm not bringing my mat because it's too heavy the travel one and since i'm hand carrying everything like it's just too much if i was if i had a suitcase i would have packed it but i don't so we're gonna see how the whole working out thing goes sometimes i like lay a towel down on the floor if there's a carpet and i can work out on that if it's like a tile floor it's very unpleasant <laughs> To, to work out on so yeah we'll see how it goes but i'll bring them in case the top i'll show you this is one of the tops that i got from h&m recently i was telling you guys about it's like a crop short sleeve top it's super cute it was like the blue one that i was wearing to pilates yesterday and then some leggings that can also work as actual wearing out pants and of course i have my headband that keeps me like super warm i put it over my ears and stuff when i'm traveling and then i have this is a wash thing you're supposed to put soap in there and it like lathers the soap for you and keeps it dry when you're done with it but i'm not bringing any soap because i'm going to hotels so i don't need it but i need something to lather the soap with i like cannot or i do not enjoy showering without like a lather like that's not a vibe or just like showering with your hands like i don't know i'm not really a fan of that <laughs> like i need it to be like super lathered up i mean like i wash my face without anything else but it's like still not the same for your body, I feel like you need a little bit more vigorous of a clean. So yeah, that is basically everything that I am going to be bringing. I am out of cottonelle wipes, so I'm going to have to either buy some before I leave or buy some when I get there. I don't know. I really don't feel like going to, I don't really get them from Target, but I don't feel like going to Target any, in any of the next days I have left. So yeah, will not necessarily be doing that we'll see we'll see how the, how everything shakes out but yeah that is it for now i will hit you guys up if anything happens in the next few hours of the day all right guys so my lululemon stuff came how exciting my first lululemon purchase or second <laughs> second lululemon purchase. first clothing purchase i suppose So I got these two pairs of leggings. One's red, which I don't really like red, but I do like burgundy, so this is burgundy. And then one's nude, which I do like nude, but I mean, it's not like, sometimes when you get nude things, like they look too much like your skin. 
then it makes you look naked, but that's definitely not my skin tone, so it should be fine. Uh, but these are Align leggings, and I got them in a size 8. They're the 28 inch. There's also like a 25 inch and a 31 inch, so this is the in-between. A lot of my leggings are like a 25 inch. I mean, it's okay, but I prefer for them to get all the way to the ankle, so these... I'll try them on in the mirror so you guys can see. So this is the first pair. This is the second pair. These were on sales. I don't know if they do clearance or whatever. They were on sale. So I think they were... How much were they? They were $79. And normally they're $98. So it's a $19 difference. <laughs> Which, you know, I'll take whatever I can get. Their colors are like seasonal. So when the season's over or enough people aren't buying them, then they put them on sale. So this is the second pair. <laughs> These look like stockings. So I don't know how I feel about that. Um, We'll see how they look on. But they have that stocking color. So they have a beige undertone versus just like looking nude. So I don't know about that. Uh, you can return the clearance items for a store credit if you're a member of their membership program, which I happen to be a member for some reason. I think I was like watching something. I was watching like the everything bag or everywhere bag or whatever. I was watching for it to come back in stock because it was always sold out. So I like signed up for the membership. So these suck they will be getting returned and i'll probably just get a pair of like the full price color that i want all right so let's try these on okay so these are the nude pair i figured i'd try them on first because those are the ones that i'm most likely to not like and i don't really like them <laughs> Just like, I don't know about this color. So let's see, this is the front. They're like giving slight camel toe. Slight. But they do cover my belly button, which is nice and nice and high waisted. And let's see, these are slightly ashy, but they, I guess they're like, I don't know, let's see, two to three inches above my ankle. So they're better than my other leggings, but I don't know. Um, And then here is the back. I don't know how that made my butt look. <laughs> Like, I definitely don't like this color. Like, it's getting returned. And then I'll just get, like, a pair of... They had this uh, really nice color. It's, like, a dark color. I have a dark brown. Or I may get the navy or I may get the black. But this is not it. You can see the... It has an inner pocket here. And you can see the outline of the inner pocket on here. So, yeah, this is gonna be a no. <laughs> Let's see what the tag says if anyone cares about that. Let's see. So this is the info if you're pressed to get this. It's on sale if you're interested. Okay, so these first pair were double-eyed. So that means this is one layer and then if you pull them apart, which is going to be hard to do with me having to hold this camera, but if you pull them apart, they're like two layers. This layer here and then this inner layer. So anyway, that seems, it makes it thicker and less see-through clearly because it's a nude color, but then also does something to the fabric which makes it thicker and more constricting and it doesn't feel as good as this pair that I'm going to show you now. So this pair here is the second pair. These are the red ones. These fit much better. I think these are the standard way the Lululemons are and they might actually be a little bit higher on my, they like hit right at my waist versus the other ones were a little bit down. Not much further down but just a little bit because they were harder to get on because they had that extra <laughs> layer in there which made them more constricting these a little bit of camel toe but not majorly and they feel much better on and they're longer as well because i don't know i guess that extra layer was just not doing the tights any justice <laughs> like i don't know so these are nice i think i'm gonna keep them there's a back view um my belt looks way smaller in these than i don't know if that's a good thing or what <laughs> Oh, but this is the side. And these ones, because they're darker, they make me look like less like a mess. Like the, those other ones were like not flattering whatsoever. So these, I think I'm going to keep. I like the color. I ordered a, I'll see when I get it. But from H&M, I ordered like a sports bra top that's like a reddish color as well. It's not going to be the exact same red. But uh, Lululemon did not have any tops in this color that I wanted or were willing to pay the price for. Like their tops are very expensive. Like, they cost as much as the leggings. 
things like somehow i can justify expensive leggings but i can't justify expensive tops especially when i can get them for much cheaper at h&m and i found a couple of h&m that i actually like the quality of lots of them are like not good quality like they're just not but a couple are good like those uh short sleeve sh shirts that i showed you guys those are good quality and then the bra or sports bra that i was working out in most recently the green one that's a good quality one and then the one that i ordered that looks like this color is a good quality one so there are at least three sports wear tops from h&m that are good quality and the rest have been trash as you can see by my return so yeah these are cute um definitely keeping these and then returning the other ones and so i'll have a 70 something dollar credit and then i'll get up here off i don't know which ones i want if i should get navy or black or brown we'll see <laughs> but yeah happy with these they feel super nice i can i definitely understand the hype there was some complaints about the wear on them like they don't last very long and they start to fall apart and get pilling on the inside so i will see if you care to know if mine pill then you can definitely leave a comment because i'll definitely let you know i hate pilling it's like not a vibe but we'll see maybe i'll wear these for a while and see if they fall apart before i make well i still have that credit so i have to use that credit regardless but yeah i'm definitely loving these so far good morning it is 10 a.m on a saturday it's been a couple days since i last checked in i worked for those two days so nothing was going on i literally cannot <laughs> do much outside of work on work days so there was no vlogging involved but uh yeah i woke up at seven this morning and i've just been like <laughs> moving very slow i am so tired like um i don't know why i went to bed like relatively early but i'm just like tired and unmotivated it's like super dreary outside so that doesn't help and it's raining so i am supposed to let me see if i can get the lighting better everything's backlit but yeah so yeah i'm supposed to go to a river dancing show it's supposed to be today and um i really don't want to go <laughs> i don't want to do anything i just want to like stay inside and like sleep but like i paid for it in fact i paid more than i would have intended to pay for it because of all these like fees and stuff so i'm like i better go i just reserved a parking spot just now so at least i don't have to worry about that and what else is going on oh yeah i'm leaving for my trip tomorrow so i'm gonna end the vlog today so that you know i can start the travel vlog then i haven't even started editing this vlog so we'll see how this goes like <laughs> I am just not in the mood for YouTube whatsoever. Like, I'm just like, I don't know. I have super no motivation to do it. I was supposed to film my budget video for April. It needs to be filmed, like, before before i leave hopefully like that would be ideal but i don't know if i'm gonna do it my flight isn't too late so i can do it but whether it's gonna get edited edited and put up in time is like another question but so i'm just gonna start doing some stuff to get ready for this show i have to redo my hair like i haven't redone it since i washed it so it's like fuzzy which is whatever but um i need to like condition it or put some moisturizer in it for like the week that I'm away. And then I also do my like scalp serum thing. I need to still work out. Today's a yoga day. Then I'll shower and get ready for this thing. In terms of YouTube, like I'm thinking about why I'm not interested in doing YouTube, <laughs> why I'm not motivated. It's like a number of factors. It's like, I've been having like, I don't know, a semi existential crisis. <laughs> I have them ever so often and then I'm like what am I doing with my life like what is my purpose like you know like it's I don't know I don't think YouTube is my purpose <laughs> that's for sure in fact I'm not even sure that I have a purpose per se so YouTube is definitely on the back burner in that end and I'm just like over editing these videos it takes forever and it causes me to have tendonitis from the repeated movement of my hands with the keyboard and the mouse so there's that like I really have to space out the editing or it's like my hands are on fire which is like not a vibe so that doesn't help at all and then when i think of like my future in terms of like doing youtube for the long term like i also like don't see myself doing that necessarily like i want to get married i want to have kids and i don't think i'm gonna be i don't know <laughs> like 
vlogging or talking about that aspect of my life because i don't know like once you like bring other people into the picture then it's like you have to think of their well-being and that was just me so it's like i guard myself in some ways against like you know issues and identity theft etc but still so i was thinking about that like if i'm not gonna do this long term then why even like extend myself at all but i don't know i'm still like in flux about it in terms of what my intentions are so if you notice the like spotty upload schedules etc that's why because i'm undecided about if i even want to continue doing this and in fact like the let's see you know like the schedule that i'm gonna maintain if any like historically i've tried to maintain like a weekly schedule but i'm not sure about that in the future either maybe i'll just like upload whenever i feel possessed to do so which does not garner like <laughs> growth of your platform but then at this point i'm like i don't really care about the growth of my platform anymore because in terms of like sustaining myself with income from online work like i realize that it requires entirely too much effort or things that i don't necessarily want to do like all of these content creators are on the internet every day posting about themselves taking pictures and all that and i just enjoy my peace and quiet entirely too much to be like on here every day and i don't even enjoy really taking photos of myself like it's just not something i'm into <laughs> It's a lot of work, especially if you're alone, setting up the camera, getting the tripod, getting the angles. So there's that, and then there's the whole, I'm just not really a, I don't know, like a person that likes to take photos of themselves. I don't necessarily like attention seeking behaviors either. Like I try to keep a low profile. So like taking pictures of yourself, especially in the public, does not make you have a low profile, <laughs> so there's that so i don't know that i have the desire to do what it takes to become a full-time content creator or anything like that and then in terms of income generating possibilities like i would have to become entirely very popular in order to replace the income that i already make from my regular job so part of me is just like you have a job like let's just do that and then enjoy life outside of the internet so yeah those are my thoughts i'm <laughs> just letting you guys know in case anyone's like what happened what happened to barnes that's what happened so i think i'm going to end the vlog now actually i wanted to show you guys my lululemon top or the h&m top that i got from lululemon in case i don't know you are looking for things that are similar i find that or what i've been looking like h&m seems to have a lot of the same or a few of the same colors that like lululemon brings out i don't know if they're like they have a tendency to they don't copy quote unquote or but they find inspiration from the same things that other designers do so a lot of the times you'll find if there's a popular style in a certain designer like you might find something similar in h&m so anyway to say they had a similar color to that pant that i got so it looks very bright on here i don't know it's the camera but this is the top from h&m it's not as fluorescent as it seems right here it's quite muted and then these are the leggings so they're in the same color family so i'm happy about that and also i found out that so lululemon says you can return your items that are final sale if you're part of that membership program but then like when i was like went online to return it they said you had to return it in store so now i have to go into the store to return it which is annoying i doubt i'm gonna do it before i leave because i do not like to go to the mall on the weekends because that's when everyone's there and it's like total chaos so and i'm not sure if there's a time frame i did not see a time frame on the return so i don't even know what the deal is i need to look into that but i'll just do it when i get back and uh, i'll just exchange it for you know a full price pair of leggings that i actually want so yeah that is it for now and perhaps the entirety of the video <laughs> if you see me again great but if not i will see you in uh, another video <laughs> another video hopefully coming soon